Welcome back. Now on uh, music. So um, this is my working environment. So and uh, like uh, always, I look have a look. We have to go for start. This is our distribution. We go for start. We had already evaluated all the code. Now go for audio <coughs> on pass. No, we have to evaluate it to get an update on all the cells. <coughs> uh, test the library, so always update it. Okay, now he checked all the directory with all the files uh, relevant for us. Now you get an updated version of that and uh, now we are on audio. So, like with your scanned books and so on, we, it, you know, the system doesn't download the music, so you have to have it for, uh, and you have to have it uh, digitally on your uh, computer. So and it using a, it's using a structure like uh, iTunes, for example, uh, and it's organized like that. So you have always the, and you have to do it. And if it's a it's an improvised uh, parser and player, in a very rough version, just to show you and give you the code, you can develop it. But um, but it's a and iTunes is the same kind of difficulty. So we always have a three step uh, go. So we have the author, we have the album, and then we have the tracks. So don't have, for example, here subfolders for the tracks. Make that plain. So it should work with all these names here, and very often the author is prior to the name, so I cut it, or uh, then there are these numbers, I uh, cut all these numbers, and these um, these tracks get identified by the name we are reading. So, but in principle you should not care about it. So if you want to have it simple, then really take uh, the, if you want to have it safe or if there are some problems, take plain text. The um, system does not distinguish between upper and lower case. It's not this important how your album is called, it's just the author, so the, the, uh, <coughs> the artist and the uh, track, as I've seen on, all, on a lot of uh, websites that are important. So, three steps, no capital letters, and then don't use, for example, this is always uh, tricky, so if don't use these uh, special characters and so on. If you have plain things with not too long, with uh, blanks in between, then it works. But now I have hundreds of, uh, of CDs and it's working. Good. This is how you organize your music. And what the system does is that it adds our uh, so we have metadata, we have an, um, <coughs> an, a Mathematica document, and we get some uh, notes. No, I think this is not from me. So meta and uh, notebook. So this will be extra. So you have to organize your music like this. By the way, iTunes is doing it in a very similar way. So you can use it as it is. So here we go, for example, with a simple one, go for uh, Mouse on Mars. No, here, uh, update it. If you do it dynamically, then uh, it's it's very ex uh, expensive, so therefore you always have to update it manually. So we have now, these are my uh, artists. So 
within the artist, you have to emulate this again, then there is an album. So then you can check what are the tracks within the album. So let's look, Mars, Tahiti, so Mars on Mars, Tahiti, um, we had this here, so we have three, no we don't have this, this is our time, so these are the three um, mp3s. So we can select one, but this has no, this is not working properly. So then there's this command, book create audio, which creates a book for this album of this artist. So what is doing, just for, we want to integrate uh, text, images and music, we need stuff. So now he's importing some Wikipedia, some YouTube pictures and the lyrics of uh, the tracks. So now this is uh, more instrumental. So what we have, this is our book now. Uh, we get some pictures, we have uh, some reception, some text, it's not a lot, it's a very special thing. So on, on, on this album, there are uh, YouTubes, always the same, around this, whatever, and go back. So, and these are the tracks. So these are the three things, no, no lyrics and play it. So we can take this to our uh, music bar and it's working as a flex. So there's no lyrics uh, available on mouse on mouse. Good. Stop it. If I want to go to the track without playing it, then I copy this, leave it, and now, like we had it with uh, with the books, with the Wikipedia, we go here and we get the thing to play. Okay, so this is a principle. Now let's go for another album. Um, now with David Bowie, for example. Get his uh, his heroes. There's a lot. Well, these are ten. Now we create an album. Now there's more stuff. Some YouTube's. And this will be source that we can find the music to a certain picture or the music, the text and then the corresponding music or the picture to uh, music and so on. So if you want to have these media crisscross, they need these, uh, we need some meat. So and therefore here now we have lyrics of David Bowie. You see, now it's finished. And here we have the lyrics. And uh, yes. this is uh, the lyrics, and we get, we can play it. And where do we get the lyrics from? This is the source of the lyrics. I get it from Genius. There are others, but this is working pretty fine. And these are the lyrics I uh, parse. So now. You might want you might want to have um, so now MTP audio. These are all the audio uh, track position.
So we'll copy this. Now we're here. So now I get this point when he started, so it was a little late. So now we can go here and here we can go to second 55. Here yeah, now, yeah, well, it was a little late. But uh, you see, now we can and paste the thing again and then uh, get this thing. So if you want to go here and then of course this is working again. So take this. and put that to the give that a link style sub subsection now we are in this song and it's not a nice one huh so and uh, now we got our subsection we can go here to our to the original in its context so and we can play it this text as a reference and this is how it works so i think this is what i want to show you um, pascal comelat and you see it's pretty pr uh, pretty fast then There also is another one. No lyrics, just instrumental. Oh, it's a big one. Now here. And what is interesting as well is we can get this audio control. And go for this audio control. And Now we can say play. Go here. Okay. Now to go then for continuous play, uh, um, audio automatic but this is a little tricky it takes uh, the system I have to improve that now it's simply playing in a loop your uh, document so you have a nice player next next and you can put it on <clears throat> on uh, even your collections here so if you have collections here then it loops through all these plays uh, you have if they start with zero so that's the actual status of uh, this version of my audio player thanks for watching and see you in the next